It has now been more than two months since a student reportedly opened fire inside a Noblesville Middle School classroom. Since then, district leaders have been working hard to prepare students and staff for today when a new school year begins. Yes, yeah, so they've had counseling sessions and several big discussions about school safety improvements. And the community has really come together countless times to move forward and really help all those kids. That's right. Our Matt McCutcheon is there live for us this morning from Noblesville with what students are in store for today on this first day back. Matt, good morning. Good morning to you. They're adding more security, more officers, as well as more cameras here at Noblesville West Middle School and all schools here across the district. We are starting to see more activity out here live this morning. We are starting to see buses roll here as students do begin that first day back. And the district says they want this to be a normal day back after everything that happened. Of course, this will be the first day back for students after the dust has settled from that chaotic day just two and a half months ago. On Friday, May 25th, our attentions would turn from CARB Day to that school shooting. Images you never expect to see at a school here in Indiana from a heavy police presence and crime scene tape to a helicopter landing in the front lawn all came to life as the nation wondered what would happen next and the survivors of that shooting would then immediately feel the community's support. It's really nice to see the community just come together and be positive. Um, we know that the community actually supports teachers and it's just sometimes it gets lost and this just shows how much the community really, really appreciates the kids. Jason Seaman has received many honors this summer, including a free car and getting to throw out the first pitch at a St. Louis Cardinals baseball game. He says he is simply just excited to get back to school here today. Now this comes as student Ella Whistler, who would be shot seven times during that school shooting, continues to recover and will also return here for this very first day of school. We will hear from her coming up only on Sunrise right here in our next half hour. As for school here today, it starts at 7.35. We also know that the principal will be sending out a letter to parents about how this first day went and any changes that need to be made. Ben and Julia. All right, Matt, thank you very much. And, you know, as we have reported, Noblesville schools are working on safety improvements. They're asking taxpayers to help pay for them. That's right. So part of the referendum on this ballot this coming November would add school resource officers to every school. The referendum would cover half of those costs while the city covers the other half. And then the school wants money to pay those officers to work overtime during large school events on evenings and weekends. And finally, they're hoping for a full-time district safety director to oversee the entire operation. And this is really just a small part of the larger safety improvements the district is working toward. And coming up here this morning at 630, we're going to take a look at some of the changes they're hoping to make when it comes to mental health help and helping students. All right, about 606 here on this Wednesday.